when I was getting with the pronounced one last night. Sleek up, but don't, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. By the way, a huge round of applause for Jan Harley, who has been. Uh, as she probably said, she's the economic development coordinator for Ride, and she's just a powerhouse. And just putting events like this on, basically just waiting to be made a world almost. See, she does, and uh, these things come together. And they're just one of many events that the council's putting on. Uh, and it's just, it's a very vibrant place to be in uh, Macquarie Park in the city of Ride. And it gives me great pleasure to be in C tonight uh, at this amazing IT sector forum. And uh, are there any potential startups out there? Yay! Oh, quite a few. Oh, we've got a good audience there. Um, I'm actually a little, little bit on, on that side of things. I, I have attempted a couple of startups myself. Uh, this was probably about 20 years ago. I actually started a dating site um, in 1998, and it was just so early days. There was no swiping and liking and all that sort of stuff. It was a database and it was a website, and uh, and we, we got it up to about 25,000 members, and we had people getting married on there and having babies, and and uh, we even had interest from the BBC and the, the, the newspapers and everything. But back then, there was nothing for, for, for people like, like you and like myself at the time. I was a young man with brown hair and 2020 vision back then. And uh, it was, there was just no real support. People didn't even understand what the internet was, let alone know how to succeed on it. So uh, I've seen quite a few things come and go over the years. It's just so good to be in an era now where people are starting to get it. They're starting to see that uh, there's not just the, the, the big stuff like your Facebooks and your Googles and your YouTubes that can start a thing in their garage and make a billion dollars in, in a week, but, uh, but there's just so many opportunities for innovation, for those little ideas, solving problems, finding you know, niches that, that, that might be not serviced. There's, there's so many opportunities out there. And, uh, and I hope today, after, after we meet our guests, uh, and our, our speakers and have a bit of Q&A at the end that uh, maybe some of you will go away thinking hmm, there might be something in it for me and <coughs> I might start to sort of work myself on networking and, and getting to know some of these people here today because uh, there's, it's a promising future in the IT sector still. So uh, look, tonight we've got a, a few distinguished guests. Actually, we've only got one distinguished guest. The Mayor, Jerome Luxile. <laughs> would you please put your hands together for us? We're going to have to say a few words, and then and we, we've got uh, four main guest speakers. We've got an apology for the Ombudsman, Kate Carnell, but she said someone even better. The <laughs> Deputy Ombudsman, Dr. Craig Latham over here, so he gives a bit of a wave, Craig, but he's over there. Um, yes, we'll be talking about uh, all those issues around being a, a small business, an enterprise. Um, then we've got Joanna Pittman, who's a Program Director from City Connect at Blue Chile. Um, Oh, there she is. And uh, obviously afterwards, uh, there'll be lots of time to mingle back outside, have a few nibbles and drinks, and, uh, and, and have a chat one-on-one -on -one with, with, with our guests. Um, Anna Samios, who's from Oz Industry, the mid-market business advisor. So Anna, where is Anna? Oh, there she is. Hi, Anna. <laughs> so she'll be up a bit later. Let's welcome Anna. Hello. <laughs> and we've got our very own Real life entrepreneur, yes, Edwin Ongo is here, who's got his own startup called LinkedIn. It's like LinkedIn, but for bands and, and fans of music and stuff, and it's, uh, it's going really well. So, we're going to hear a little bit about his story, and uh, it's, it's going to be very interesting. So, thanks for coming. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here, and uh, thanks for coming. And uh, I think we'll, we'll start off with a Lovely little welcome from our mayor, Mr. Jerome Luxar. 